Welcome to London. The year is 1897. My name is Olivia Flepperton. One night, my father, the toy maker, was kidnapped. To get him back, I went to the famous best detective, Basil Baker Street. He, Dawson, and Toby, the bloodhound, found, helped, and I've been a great help to the detective ever since. Now, when I visit 221 one half Baker Street, I know there's something strange, something strange is bound to be afoot. With the help of a battening fidget, Toby and I have found a fair share of mysteries and monsters. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. Read on and see for yourself. The Grey Mouse Detective, The Sideshow Sea Beast. It began with my fellow detectives for mulling over yet another exciting mystery. No, no, no. And for a thousand times, times. no, Dawson, how can you bring your, such a story to my attention? Oh, come now, Basil. Isn't your curiosity just a little piqued? Several of my colleagues were invited to examine the fellow, and their findings were most interesting. Oh, to hear such words from a doctor. I will not be party to some publicity stunt for a silly sea beast. A mouse can't not grow gills and scales and swim about like a fish. And yet this fellow can, Basil. As a scientist, I like to think that such a mouse could exist. But as a mouse with common sense, I doubt you should find such a creature at the logo sideshow. Like Dawson, I prefer to keep an open mind, and the only way to form my own opinion is to see the sea beast for myself. Toby, fidget! Where to, Toy? To the carnival, fidget. Have you heard of the sea beast? Have I? He's the talk of the town. You don't think he's real, old fidget? Real ho ho ho. I used to work at the carny myself, Libby. Nothing's real but the caramel apples. I like caramel apples. Oh, but surely some of these incredible acts must be real, fidget. Well, if you want to talk about a fish guy who can breathe underwater, I got a bridge in London I could sell you. Take these people, for example. Just the right chemicals on the breath. Goodness. A glue, glue, and you can have hair on the chin too. I wouldn't want that. And for this act, just look for the strings. I'm looking. Wow, look. Now that's a sideshow act. If you say so, Fidget. He's been acting in a foul mood since we've caught him. Um, gov, a meal of fish guts should sound uh, um, down. Hmm? <sighs> Watch out, Livy. Fidget, hey, let's go. I'm not part of the act. Is this another stunt for the papers, buddy? Because you better pay me this. <sighs> hey, sea beast, aren't you forgetting your dinner? Careful, Livy. This guy's crazy. I hope Fidget remembers he can fly. And now, Mr. Sea Beast, let's get you back to where you belong. Though it will be the talk of the city for weeks to come, as far as I was concerned, the case of the sideshow Sea Beast was closed. Talk about a fella who took his act too far. He better not show up in town again if he knows what's good for him. I'm sure he won't be back, Fidget. I'm sure he's home. The end.